The state government has secured an additional vote for its bank tax, but still looks set to fall one vote short in the upper house. The Treasurer insists, despite the numbers, the controversial revenue-raising measure isn't doomed and he's hopeful of convincing key crossbenchers who are vowing to block the bill of voting the other way. $41.5 million later, Kelly Vincent has agreed to back the bank tax in exchange for better health care and support for mentally ill and disabled South Australians. I definitely played a hard bargain with the Treasurer. I saw this as an opportunity to continue doing my job in fighting for South Australians who are disadvantaged, disenfranchised and often, too often, forgotten about. But even with Kelly Vincent's vote, the bank tax still seems destined to fail in the upper house by just one vote. Australian Conservatives Dennis Hood and Robert Brokenshire and Independent John Darley. The government needs at least one of these crossbenchers to get its bill over the line. I expect the entire budget to pass. So I expect all of that money to be there so we can fund our hospitals, our schools, build our roads, fund our police. The ABC has contacted the deciding crossbenchers and they're not budging. The budget will go down and, and then the government will have to consider whether they withdraw the uh, bank tax from the budget. That's up to them. We don't believe this tax is in our state's interest. We're just not going to be a part of it. It will be opposed by a majority in the upper house and then the government want to have a reflection on what they're trying to do. The other point is if they're offering carrots, then obviously they've got plenty of money. Why do they need the tax? Despite facing certain defeat in the upper house, the government is sticking to its rhetoric. Why back to banks instead of locals? Doesn't make any sense. Neither does the fate of the budget. The Treasurer says blocking a budget would go against parliamentary convention and logic, but only the government can amend a budget bill. So those staunchly opposed to the bank tax will have to block the budget by voting it down in its entirety. That's never happened before, and if it does, it will be back to the government to make the next move. Now they're going to suggest to us this week that we remove the bank tax. We're going to say no. Candice Prosser, ABC News, Adelaide.